So here we have the Kia Sportage on a 64 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. And then this tray section will lift to reveal a full size alloy spare wheel. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. On the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the centre, you can see the total miles of this car. They are 69,179. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, first of all, we have stereo and phone controls. Phone controls uh, continue here with voice activation. We can also change the driving setup of the car. So you can put the steering into comfort, uh, normal or sport. And then we have cruise control over on that right-hand side of the steering wheel. In the center is where you'll find the main stereo. So this is where you need to pair your phone up in order that you can use it. We are going to cancel that for now. When it comes to radio, you can see uh, that we've got FM, and AM available to us. Every push of this button will take you through a different wave band. If you want to listen to your own music, nothing is connected at the moment, but we've got our CD player there, as you can see. Uh, we've also got auxiliary and USB inputs as well. On top of all of that, if I pop the car into reverse, you'll see the full color reversing camera with guidelines that show you what direction the car is headed in, in, rela in relation to the image shown on the screen as well. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. The air conditioning is off, back on from here. Uh, or hit auto. In doing so, the car will now maintain those temperatures by taking control of the fan speed and direction of the air. You can override that whenever you wish to. We have two, or well, we have a 12 volt charging socket, I should say, and then we have a USB as well. Uh, we've got our auxiliary input. This button will turn your parking sensors on and off. We have a heated driver's seat. We have two heat settings and the same for the passenger side just there. And then a six speed manual gearbox. The last thing I wanted to mention are the twin sunroofs here. The rear one is a fixed section of glass, if you like. This front one, you can leave like this. And of course that lets a lot of extra light into the cabin area. Alternatively, you can open that as a proper sliding sunroof, should you wish to do so. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.